Well, you guys, it's here, the brand new box by the Wizarding Trunk, and I can't tell you how excited I am to open this box up, so stick around. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry and welcome to The Potter Addict. Well, as you can see, this is what happens when you have a eight-year-old uh, sidekick. Um, he has chosen to go play with his friends rather than open up this brand new box. And I can promise you that I know he's going to be disappointed when he sees the contents of this box. Do I know what's in here? Absolutely not, but the Wizarding Trunk is currently on a roll, and I do not think that they're going to break that streak anytime soon. They are on fire. I've talked to some of the people that work there, and they have some amazing things coming up. So without further ado, guys, let's break into this box and see what we've got. Um, this box, and I guess I'll show you the outside just because they did such an amazing job of giving you all kinds of details of the different shops and things that are a part of the Wizard Alley. That is this, this box's theme, and I am very excited to take a look at the, the items that they're going to give us in this box because according to the Wizarding Trunk, there is a brand new line in this box that, that they're going to release for the very first time and then start making more of a regular appearance in other boxes. Here's that inside lip, and let's pop this open, slide it over here, and let's just, we'll do a no-look grab. How about we do a no-look grab, and the first thing we hit is our pin. We got a pin today, and oh, it's very easy to tell you who this pin is. This is none other than your favorite, favorite pompous wizard, Gilderoy Lockhart. So this is a great pin. I love the ornate frame that they give around it. It's perfect for Gilderoy Lockhart, but they got his classic purple, you know, really uh, uh, audacious robes. I mean, very, very good. And that grin, great first edition, great pin. I cannot wait to see what else we've got. Let's put this over here and we'll slide that pin there. And oh, I just looked, but... Man, I'm going to have to go with, oh, let's look, let's look. Um, let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. Let's see what this is. So this is interesting because we've got what appears to be a little vial of rocks. And what else do we have over here? And then we've got another, and then maybe this goes with something else. So this is a um, a wax, a wax melt, you know, for like doing the, the stamps on envelopes and everything. And then this here looks like a vial of blood. I mean, it's dark, dark red. Um, and then we've got another little vial of like, um, looks like rock salt, uh, almost like, uh, like a pink Him Himalayan rock salt. That's what it looks like to me. Um, these I'm sure are going to tie in with something else that I open up. So we're gonna set those off to the side and I'm sure we'll come back to those. Uh, let's take a look at this. So <laughs> if only you guys knew the, the issue that I have in this house with keeping Band-Aids here. My, my kids all seem to feel like they're little accessories. You know, they want to accessorize their bodies with band-aids and just wear them for no particular reason. So, um, but we have what the box says, Enchant Mend. Enchant Mend uh, bandages. Uh, healer approved. Uh, I love that. It says in the back, these bandages are imbued with magical mending properties, promoting rapid healing and restoring skin with a touch of enchantment. Healer approved. So we got to open these up and take a look and see if there's anything spectacular. So no, it just says, if you look, you've got two strips and it says on there, enchant mend bath bandages. So cute, very cute. I love the tin. The tin is, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good tin. Um, they've been putting out some really good tins for like some of the candies um, now and, and everything else. And uh, so I'm, a, I'm, I like a good tin and that is a nice one. So uh, let's reach in here. What else do we got down here? So we've got this little pouch. Ooh, I think I have an idea what this one is. It says Glintworth Bank. 
Glintworth Bank, and I believe we're going to have... Oh, yeah, we definitely do. We definitely have some money in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we've got... Uh, here, and let's open these up so that we can you guys can see them a little bit better because these plastic packages play havoc with the camera. Uh, let's see here. How do you get this one open? Boy, there's a seam here, but it doesn't seem to want to open. Let's see what I did there? Um, but here we go. Let's throw that down there. And so this one is really pretty. It is big. It's got a um, got a dragon on the one side. Uh, really pretty dragon in gold, and then the other side is basically like a um, like a vault door. Um, and it says Glintworth Bank on here. I mean, this is really cute. Really, really cute. I love the, the look of that one. And then let's open up the little one here. And the little one is basically the exact same thing. Uh, well, except, uh, well, the, ba the back has the exact same Glintworth Bank vault. Uh, but on the front, you've got a hippogriff which is awesome. Really good looking. I love the detail. The fact that they can get so much detail in something so tiny is amazing to me. But these will go good uh, right over by my um, my Gringotts Bank uh, replica from U uh, Universal Studios. These will, these will definitely be a great add over there. And I love, I mean, you can hear them. I mean, they're, they're definitely like a, a metal, uh, really good quality. Oh, guys, there's so much in here. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go next. Let's go with, oh, 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 I didn't realize what this was until I got my hands on it. We've got our first key. We haven't had a key in a little bit, and I think we all know my my love for keys. So um, I am obsessed with keys for some reason. And the Wizarding Trunks keys to me, used to be kind of just average, and then they really amped up their game and started putting out these amazing metal detailed keys that are really phenomenal. And uh, so let's take a look at this one. And see. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, this one is beautiful. Such a beautiful key. Look, here, let's pop this thing out so you guys can see it. But Look at the coloring of this key. Whatever they did to give it this luminescent like look, oh, it's absolutely amazing. And this key can be for none other than Wizard uh, Wizard Weez's uh, joke shop here. I mean, look at the coloring. Look at the the the, the W with the flourish, the star. Uh, I mean, just the little details on it, the, the ears that are on here. I mean, oh gosh, this is so great. What a great key. Now, a very um, delicate key. This key is not as substantial as the other keys. Very, very beautiful key. Love to add this one to my collection. I do not think that I'm going to put this on the, um, on the key ring with those other keys because this key doesn't seem like it would take the the beating that those other keys those other keys are kind of more like a they remind you of a of a key that you're gonna see on Filch's key ring you know they've been banging around and everything they look kind of ragged and beaten and, and and everything else this key is beautiful I mean this key is a gorgeous key this is definitely gonna go with my um, wizard wheezes items uh, on my shelf because that is uh, too good to have get to, to have it get banged up with all those other keys. Really great key, fantastic add, and let's go with this one. Whatever this box is, so it looks like oh yeah, this is definitely a potion. So it says only the purest potions. Brew it yourself potion kit. So it says death cap draft, and it says warning: extremely poisonous. Keep stopper closed. Um, really good looking box. Uh, oh, here we go. Brewing instructions on the back. So it says, fill bottle to the neck with moon water so clear. A liquid so pure the stars just might peer. Pour in the included ingredients, rare, into the bottle with flourish and care. Uh, add the stopper with a plop and a magical twist. Then shake it quite fiercely with a flick of the wrist. This is great. Uh, vigorous movements, oh, dance if you dare, until the potion's just right with sparkle to spare. Seal it with deftly, 
No, seal it then deftly with red wax so bold to ensure that no droplet breaks free of the fold. So you guys see what they've did here. Um, this, these elements that were originally given to us before are part of the brew it yourself um, potion. So let's open this up and let's take a look at what's at what else is inside because I am very curious to see. Um, just because again, um, those elements came separately, and that's the type of thing that's that kind of confuses me a little bit. But oh yeah, look at this. Oh, so that's exactly what they've done. Look at so they've given you the bottle, right? And the bottle's got a twisty cap, right? But you're you're replacing the twisty cap with the cork once you fill it with your liquid, right? And then you're going to maybe put your crystals in there and your red coloring and then you fill and then you melt this wax over the top to give it that really authentic sealed look and then they've got the labels to go on top. You guys, I will definitely be doing this. This is this is going to be a great little DIY uh, thing to do. I absolutely love that. So rather than give you a potion, they allow you to kind of make one yourself so you can give it some custom touches. I love this. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think that um, I love the little the little uh, uh, toadstool a uh, little, you know, like a uh, trinket they have here hanging off the side with the uh, with the twine wrapped around it and everything else. This will eventually look amazing. So I absolutely love this. I think this was a great little touch to uh, to put into this box. Let's set all these elements over here with that, and oh, and the label we'll put over there as well. And let's move into this little white box here. This little white unassuming box. Doesn't give you any kind of detail on what's inside. So I'm very interested to see what we have in here. Oh, oh, okay. We've got, we've got a, a water bottle. And oh, how cool is this? Oh, I've got a perfect place already in mind for this. So it says Herbology Supplies. And the outside of this is gorgeous. I mean, you've basically got the, the outside of uh, uh, of like a herbology greenhouse, but it, I mean, it, but I, I think it's supposed to look like the the store, right? The storefront, herbology supplies. You've got the door to the store. Um, you've got all these plants and the and the vines growing around. Super super cute little little water bottle. I mean, really nice. I mean, this is this is cute. This is cute, guys. And again, this is one of these items that I will never use but it will go really well on my herbology um, shelf. So well, let's make sure we get him in the picture here. And now we've got two, we've got two. Oh, what do I want, what do I want? I'm gonna hold off on that one. We're gonna go with this one. This one that's got the the little, kind of the, the warthog's head on it and everything else. Cause I have a feeling I know what this is gonna be, but at the same time, I, I am, oh, I am wrong. I am so wrong. <laughs> oh, this is so much better. So much better than what I thought it was going to be. Oh, you guys. Here, let's toss that down there. And what is the best way to get this out? I'm just going to pull from the top. Boy, oh, that is in there good. I'm hoping that I am not going to damage this. Oh, yes. You guys, you've got, oh, I love this. You've got a little mini hogshead pour. I mean, how cute is that? There's an opening in the mouth for where you pour. You could fill it up in the back, you know, but then the front has got the opening with the mouth so you can pour. This is fantastic. I have thought long and hard about adding one of those hogshead pitchers. I know you've seen it, you know, like the water pitcher, the beer pitcher, whatever you want to, you know, put in it, but um, I have thought long and hard about adding one of those to the collection, and this is a great filler piece. I love this. I think it's super cute. Um, great ad, you guys. So that leaves us with, oh, we've got a couple more things, but this this is our last big, big item here. So, and this says, Vile Incantum, Poisons and Cursed, cursed Curiosities, Nightshade Alley, right? I love this. And it says on the back, my glass runneth quickly. 
So I love this. This looks really cool, the box does. And obviously I think we all know that this is something from the shadier side of, uh, of Diagon Alley, the Nocturne Alley side of things. But let's open this up and take a look at what we've got here because I am super, oh guys. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, wait till you see this. This is fantastic, and it looks so spectacular. But you've got one of the, and you'll have to forgive me, my brain gets a little foggy from time to time. I cannot think of what you actually call these, right, that goes with the Ouija board and points to the answers and, and everything else. It's totally, and I just watched a movie, a great movie for Halloween. No gore. Um, Quite a bit of language, though, so not really suitable for the kids, but no gore, scary, anxiety-ridden, um, called Hell House LLC. I highly recommend checking it out. Not a new movie from, like, 2015. Somebody recommended it, and it was a great recommendation because I have honestly never been so anxious um, for a movie in my entire life. But in that movie, they um, one of the gentlemen does use uh, one of these, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it's called. It'll hit me after the movie, I'm sure, or after the, the filming of this, for sure. But um, this is absolutely stunning. The Vial Incantum. Uh, I, I mean, and just the details on this, you guys, are spectacular. I love the, the serpents coiling around, the faces, the eye. I mean, oh man. Yeah, this is a really pretty piece and I am going to have to find uh, a, a little spot I can squeeze that in over on my, my dark art shelf. It's getting a little crowded over there. So that is fantastic. And let's slide it over here so you can actually see it. And that brings us to our paper products. We will start off with our handy dandy book cover. Uh, these are always fantastic, and I still have yet to utilize a single one of them, which is criminal because, again, they are beautiful. The details that they pour into these is, I mean, absolutely just stunning. I love the gold foiling. This one is Secret Passages and Magical Tunnels, and, I mean, it's beautiful. I, guys, there, there's never, and I love the footsteps, almost like the um, the Marauders map with the trail and everything else. I mean, just just look, look at the details of of uh, just everything on here. The feet going, you know, go following the paths and everything. I love this. So so creative, so pretty. I mean, these guys really do a fantastic job on these and. Like I said, I'm not doing them any kind of uh, any kind of favors by just leaving them over there on my shelf. I mean, I've got four of them, I want to say now, and I have not included them on any books, but I will. I will definitely make that happen one of these days. Um, let's see here. We've got, oh, oh, Unforgivable Ink, where shadows are conjured and ink is unleashed. So 15 Nightshade Alley. Uh, inking nightly from Twilight's Embrace until Dawn's Awakening. I love it, and I'm having just a slight inclination that this might be a, a, a Death Eater uh, temporary tattoo. Oh, okay. It's not. It's not, but it is definitely... Oh, there's more than one. There's more than one. So we've got this creepy little guy, the skull here with, um, with the mushrooms, uh, the toadstools coming out of it. We've got these little runes, some kind of an incantation probably, or uh, something something of, of dark descent, I'm sure. And then you've got this one, which is a little bit more uh, lively. You've got a uh, winged key with a ribbon, you know, so not near as, as dark as the, it may be a little sinister as the other two, but, uh, but, but again, so you've got Temporary tattoos is what those definitely are. And then we get into, let's grab, let's grab this one here. What is this? Um, you've got um, the creatures page. And on the creatures page, we'll start off, you've got the uh, red cap, right? And I know nothing about the red cap, so this will be a great one for me to take a, a read on and uh, learn a little bit more. And then you've got details on the Rougarou. Now, this one I know a little bit more about. 
uh, just because my wife loves uh, the Supernatural series. And I know that this has been talked about in there and they've talked about it before. So, so that is our creature page. And then we've got a couple different things in here. So let's open this up. So this I think fell out of, um, yeah, this fell out of our, our key. It says, uh, and we'll go back to the key here real quick. So this says 13 Windershins shop key. Congratulations on your new job at the Windershins Joke Shop. At their newest, as their newest employee, this key gives you access to be able to open and close up shop. This key was designed for us by the Wizardry Workshop TWT exclusive. So cute. All right. So now that we get a little bit more detail on that, and then let's pull out this stuff. They did something they've never done before, put putting things in a, a little bit of a sleeve here. And drop that down there, and then let's look at, so here we've got preparation of the death cap drought. So, okay, so here you go. This is the ingredients for, for this, so that you can make this particular potion with these items. So it says ingredients, moon water. Uh, number two is red baneberry juice. Number three, crystallized death cap. So there you go. So you, you've got those elements. So now we know exactly what they are. Utensils and instruments. You're going to need a glass potion bottle with a narrow neck, a small silver ladle, cork or stopper for sealing the bottle, bottle and then wax for sealing the bottle. So, I mean, so guys, you got all that. That's, this is a really cute little, little thing that they did. Then they give you the instructions on how to prepare, and it goes on to the back with all the details. And then on the bottom, it says, warning, only for use by potion masters. Death cap draft is exceptionally potent. Its effects are perilous and death is mostly irreversible. So, so cute. So like I said, so they've given you a lot of detail to go with that piece. And then we've got uh, a postcard, a postcard of what looks like um, it says, wow, what does that say? It says uh, the, oh, the Owlry. The Owlry is what this is a postcard of. So I love that. I love how on the back they give you the, the stamps, you know, showing you that the, the postcard's kind of been around. Uh, it's got the postmarks and, and uh, some other scribblings on the, on the back. Really, really cute. And that, guys, brings us to our recap page, kind of going through all the details of what was in this box. So let's go through this real quick. So we've got the Glintworth Bank coins, right? We, we we got that one. That one was pretty easy. Unforgivable ink temporary tattoos. There you go. Uh, we've got the Herbology Supplies water bottle. The uh, Vile Incantum uh, Enchanted pl Planchette. Planchette. There it is, guys. There it is. <laughs> You know, the, the word just escapes you in the moment, but as soon as you hear it, you're like, why couldn't I remember that? So there you go. Autographed portrait pin. This is autographed. I didn't see an autograph on this. Where, where, where do you see the autograph? Is the autograph on the back? Well, now we have to take a look. No, no, no autograph on the back, but it says it's autographed. I just don't see any autograph on here, but you know, I mean, it's still a cute pin regardless. I mean, but it just says autographed portrait pin. So, um, I was just reading real quick to see if it said anything about that. No, no, all right. Um, secret passages and magical tunnels. Um, this book teaches you all about some of the most useful tunnels. So um, there you go for the book cover. Uh, Enchant Mend ba Bandage Tin. Yep, we got that one. Uh, creature Page, easy enough. Um, the Boar's Head Cream Pour. So uh, they're recommending you put your, your cream for your for your coffee or your tea in, in there. Um 10. Brew-It-Yourself Potion Kit. We are excited to introduce Pure Blood Apothecary's new line of Brew-It-Yourself Potion Kits. This kit includes everything you need to successfully brew the Death Cap Draft. Please note that all ingredients included in this Brew-It-Yourself Potion Kit are skin-safe and cosmetic grade. So, so this is our new addition, our new line that they're going to start coming out. So they're going to start making this more of a regular thing where they give you these brew-it-yourself potions, which is cool. I really think that's neat because 
And I've said this before to you guys, the thing that I like about my potion bottles is I like them to look more kind of weathered and authentic and, you know, just kind of like they've been sitting on the shelf for, I mean, for, you know, 100 years or more. So, and when you've got a do-it-yourself one, you can do that, right? I mean, so you don't feel like you're going to mess up somebody else's work because it's your work. You're the one that's going to put it together. So I, I like that. It's really cool. Um, let's see here. Then we've got the Owl Repose card, right? Uh, the Death Cap uh, Draft Potion Recipe card. Yep, we got that. And then, oh, and that's everything that came in this box. But then on the back, we've got, look at that, a little, little map of the, the Wizard Alley here. So with all the different stores. I mean, so it's got Glintworth Bank, Lauren Latch Bookshop, Clean Sweeps Broom Shop, uh, Bailey Wicks Magical Sweets, the Vile Incantum, um, Fiddle Sprigs Magical Herbs, the Copper Kettle Inn and Pub, the Unforgivable Ink Disappearing Tattoos, I love that, Pure Blood Apothecary, uh, Galley Pots Magical Remedies, Windershins Joke Shop, and the Owlry. So, I mean, super cute, guys, to add that little detail to kind of give you the whole alley uh, where everything's coming from. So... All in all, I mean, guys, a another fantastic box by the Wizarding Trunk. I'm going to say that, I mean, it, it's it real easy for me to go to the, to the key because I love these keys. I mean, and, and this key is beautiful. Such a well-done key. But I would say that my favorite item is probably this. This thing looks fantastic. I love the look of it. Um, just a creepy little, little element. Um, it'll look fantastic with my, uh, with my dark art stuff over there. So, so, um, but you guys comment below, you let me know what was your favorite item. I mean, there are so many great little, little items in this box. Uh, so many good additions to, um, you know, to your collection that it's hard for me to, to really honestly say what is the best item. I mean, but again, guys. You, I mean, it's all, it's all subjective, you know, it's what really, you know, blows the wind up, uh, up your skirt. So I'm, you tell me what you think is the top item from this box, because I mean, again, it's, they're all fantastic. I think they did a great job wizarding trunk, um, swinging for the fences every time uh, nowadays. I mean, they, they aren't fooling around and not pulling any punches. They're giving you great stuff to add to your collection. So um, but we're to that point, guys, where I need you to please, if you haven't by now, please click that subscribe button, click that bell notification, give me a thumbs up, and please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok too. So thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another magical moment. And until next time, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.